It's Takako. On this video, I'll be showing the tutorial of CC's garment. I use denim fabric that contains 68% cotton, 30% recycled poly, and 2% lycra. I started with draping the front piece. I pressed the green line at the center front because I didn't want this part to be stressed out. I looked at the side seam angle at this point, so I wouldn't cut off the fabric too much. Then I draped the back piece. I pressed the grain line at the center back and cut off the extra fabric on the side. I created a waist dart so it would fit well around the waist. Here, I'm temporarily pinning the side seam just to look at the angle of the seam. I like the angle so I repinned the seam as I folded the fabric so that I was able to see the actual sewing line. And then I draped the waistband. I had pressed the fabric with iron and created 2 inches wide straight waistband in advance. So it will be easier to drape. Then I attached the pocket piece. Again, I had pressed the pocket into a shape in advance so it would be easier to pin. I dressed off the draped fabric pieces onto the paper and I created the pattern pieces. Of course, I'm adding the seam allowance at this point. Then I cut the fabric into the pattern shapes. I pre-shrunk the fabric before cutting. I pressed the center front at salvage because I wanted to avoid wasting the fabric. Now it's time to sew. I used a thick and strong sewing needle for this fabric. I marked the back waist dart with chalk and single needle them. Then I sewed the center back seam. I wanted to hide cutting edges from both outside and inside, so I wrapped the cutting edges as you can see. After I top stitched with gold thread, the cutting edges got all hidden. You're all here. Home at last. Mm. It's so warm. Then I cream finished the side pocket openings and top stitched them. Those parts were unbiased, so they were pretty stretchy. I actually pressed the twill tape inside to make it non-stretch. Then I finished the pocket bag's bottom part with single needle and overlock. Also, I closed the side seams with single needle and overlock. I added the gold top stitch to the side seam just from the top to the pocket bag. I use the salvage for the inside of the tie as well. Then I cream finish the hem with gold thread. I fold it back just once at the center front so that you can see the salvage right inside the edge. I created the big front pockets and attached them to the main body and attached the back pockets and loops right after. I really enjoyed making this unique shape that looks like an apron and a long skirt at the same time. I wish I had this garment when I was working at the big factory so I was able to carry my tools around without losing them. If you haven't watched how CC and I came up with this design idea, please watch CC episode 1 and 2. 
Thank you, CC, for collaborating with me. I'm looking forward to working with you again to achieve the e-work theme next time.